Hello everyone, how are you today? I apologize for the earlier um, disconnection. I, I'm not sure what happened. We're working on figuring that out. If you'd like to find out <laughs> what happened or why it didn't link correctly, go to Ryan Steinelson's page. He talks about all that techie stuff and you can find out over there. <laughs> um, so today, uh, this week's topic, we'll just dive right into it since I'm short on time. This week's topic is local SEO. So today I am discussing the top five local business, um, business marketing do's and don'ts. So I'm going to share my page here um, and we will get started. Created a little document, a, do a guideline for me to kind of follow. Here we go. And let me make sure my screen is correct. Yep, my screen is showing. Woo! -hoo! Okay, so number one, top five to do. Claim your profile. Some of the biggest mistakes that a local business can make is not be in control of their listing. Okay, so there's a few things. Profile, listing, directory. When I speak of those, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to stick to one word, but if I say any of those, they're all mean the same, which is directory. Now, what is a directory? A directory is Google My Business page or Facebook page or Yelp or um, Bing, Yahoo, or another one is City Pages, Yellow Pages. I can keep going on because there's a bunch of them, <laughs> but those are directories that you need to claim. If they're not claimed, what happens is you miss out on views from those directories, which you think, oh, Google's the big one. Google, all I need to worry about is Google. You're wrong <laughs> because Google looks at all of the other directories um, for guidance when a person types in a keyword or a phrase or a product or your business name. And Google pulls it from the directories to give the information that the individual is searching for. So you're missing out on clicks, you're missing out on views, on website clicks and phone calls if you do not claim those directories. Now, there's a total of 71 directories that we work to create and claim because they're the top directories that um, really communicate with Google in that search engine. Okay, so maintain a consistent name, address and phone number. So search engines like Google, Bing and Yahoo use a number of different sources when determining the quality of a local search result. So one single signal for the quality of a, a local business is their business information has to be consistent across um, the board. So if you, are, if you have your um, information, for example, consistent across 71 different directories, well, what do you think the search engine, Google, is going to pick? That information, right? And so it's good to make sure not only do you have your directories claimed, but your business name, address, and phone number are correct and the same consistent across the board. Number three is upload pictures. Now, in order to be a um, successful local business marketer, you need to share as much information as possible to your potential customers. So I'm gonna give you an, an example here from our um, are just recently from March 1st to March 22nd. Now look at these spikes here and look at the comparison that Google is showing us right now. This is the number of times your business photos have been viewed compared to photos from other businesses that are similar to us. So our photos, because we're consistent now, you, you can see here, um, we have consistently posted photos, not only through Google, but through all the, um, 71 directories that were created and claimed on a daily basis now. And look at this spike. Look at where we're at here compared to where businesses like us are. Businesses like us have 12 views and we have 127 views, um, photos, just photos, just by adding photos daily and consistency. We are now getting more views to our um, listings links. I, I don't want to confuse you. I'm trying not to confuse you, so I'm just going to stop. <laughs> okay. Provide incentives. 
Now, incentives is a great way to improve your local business marketing and encourage clicks from potential customers. So you can offer a free consultation. Let's say, for example, here, I'm in the Google My Business um, um, directory and I can go into detail because next week is all about Google My Business. So we'll go into further detail about this today. I'm just focusing on local SEO. Um, so provide incentives on the posts that you give, you can provide incentives. Now, for example, nope, that's just going to take me straight to the, let's see, is there a way I can pull this up? Here we go. Okay. So you add a photo and then here's the incentive. Accelerate marketing got Google AdWords recertified. Congratulations. Oh no, wait, that's not it. That's just telling our, our peeps what's, what's up. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Get a free and complete overview of your local SEO performance in minutes, including search rankings, local listings, reviews. Ah, just a second, everyone. Let me mute this. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is an incentive that if an individual goes to our Google My Business page, they're going to see this incentive, which is going to encourage um, communication with our potential customers. So get a free and complete overview of your local SEO performance in minutes, including search rankings, local listings, reviews, on-site SEO, and social media. And then they click on the button learn, learn more, and it takes them to the link to where they can fill out the information to um, receive that information. Number five is manage your reviews. And last week, we touched base on this quite a bit of how much of an impact a review makes. And so um, um, if you have some questions about that, I'll include a link or send me a message and I'll, I'll continue to answer those questions or refer you back to the video that we did, the five videos that were um, done last week, which was online reviews. And so always make sure that you're maintaining and managing your reviews because that um, is another thing. Now, scrolling down to the top five don'ts, just like I said earlier, if you have an inconsistent name, address, and phone number, you're missing out on the search engine selecting your information because they're confused on what's right and what's wrong. So if that causes confusion to Google, then why are they going to take the time to figure out that stuff when they can go to a different business that has their consistent name, address, and phone number across the board? Another thing that I've noticed a few times is that some people use a toll-free number. And so it makes it difficult for search engines to determine what location your business is. And so always make sure that you remove that uh, toll-free number as your main number and put a local number in there as well. Another thing that I did notice was a PO box for your address. That's not going to provide a location. It's not going to help the search engines um, to determine where the location of your business is. And so they're gonna skip over you if you have a PO box listed. Um, and also another thing that um, I um, that uh, some of the uh, local SEO group of individuals has noticed is that some things are, there's some dishonest reviews out there. So although you're thinking you're going to get away with it. The search engines are getting better and better at detecting fake reviews. So if it's a fake review, it's gone. <laughs> and then the search engine, the search engines are totally going to skip right over you. <laughs> and then another thing is do, uh, do not change your business name. Because if you do that, it's going to confuse the, <laughs> the world of search engines by um, rankings for certain locations or by your city and by other keywords. And then it's gonna get confused and then you'll be competing against your old business name. Um, and it's not really helping you out. It's, it's making you um, kind of get lost in, in the shuffle. And so those are my five do's and don'ts for today. Um, I, once again, I'd just like to apologize to you for, for the uh, mishap earlier <laughs> with, with um, scheduling and, and such. Um, so I'm just gonna review these five since I feel a little mumble jumbled um, one more time. The five do's is one, claim your profile, your directories. Two, maintain a consistent name, address, and phone number. Three is upload those photos because um, I, I definitely encourage you to check your insights. 
here. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> okay, um, and then here, because it'll show you, look at how much of an impact that you have by adding photos on a consistent basement basis compared to your competitors. So if you're adding those photos, you're taking those views away from your competitors and you're redirecting it back to you. Um, and number four is provide incentives like we showed you through the Google My Business posts. And five is manage your reviews. The top five don'ts are don't have an inconsistent name, address, and phone number across the board with directories. Make sure everything is consistent. Don't use a toll-free number. Don't use a PO box for your address. Um, and don't post dishonest reviews. And the fifth one is don't change your business name. All right. Um, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Crystal Horton, one of the account managers for Accelerate Marketing, where we help businesses like yours become the go-to business in your niche. Woohoo! So in other words, we help your business dominate um, your online reputation and local SEO. Monday through Friday, I am live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to business in your niche. This week, I'm talking about local SEO. Next week is all about Google My Business because we know that beast is beautiful. <laughs> and then the week after that, I'll be talking about online reputation again. So my homework for you today is to find out how many directories you currently have and if your information is correct across the board. Tomorrow, I'll be talking about... Um, optimizing your voice search since now that's becoming quite the thing <laughs> and um, I'll see you tomorrow create a great rest of your day bye everyone